Hey creeps, my name is Scara, damsel of the doomed. Welcome to my tub of terror. Today I'll be revealing five interesting facts about the Canadian horror classic from 1975, Shivers. And I'll do so rather quickly because these bubbles won't last forever. was a pretty decent year for horror. It gave us The Stepford Wives, Jaws, Trilogy of Terror, Deep Red, and of course, Shivers. Shivers was written and directed by David Cronenberg, the king of venereal horror. David is known for movies such as The Fly, Videodrome, and Scanners, but Shivers is what had him reach cult horror meister status. David Cronenberg is also known for being a pioneer of body horror, which involves things like mutations, parasites, and particular medical conditions. Without giving everything away, the basic synopsis of the movie is there is a scientist, he lives in this posh apartment complex. He slaughters a teenage girl and then kills himself. Okay, so then some investigators come in and they discover that the murderer has been conducting experiments involving these deadly parasites. So then this doctor and his nurse get involved and they find out that there is a parasite on the loose that's infecting the tenants of the posh apartment complex. Now, whenever those tenants become a host to the parasite, they turn into sex-crazed maniacs who pass the bug on through violent sexual acts. And now, five interesting facts from the movie Shivers, starting with fact number one. Actress Susan Petrie was unable to produce tears in her scene, so David Cronenberg did the thing where you chop up onions and hold it up to your face to produce tears. Well, that worked. However, the take was blurry. So when they did the reshoot, they didn't have any onions. So Cronenberg convinced Petrie to let him slap her in the face a few times and get the tears flowing. Well, this worked, but Barbara Steele, who was also in the scene, didn't realize that they had this arrangement going on. All she knew was that she saw Cronenberg slapping the actress. When the scene wrapped, she went up to David Cronenberg and she grabbed that man by his collar and lifted him up off the ground and she started yelling at him for abusing the actress. David Cronenberg quickly convinced her that this was an arrangement they had. Petrie also said, no, 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 this is fine. We agreed to this and everything was well and good. Fact number two, this was David Cronenberg's first feature film and it was very successful. In fact, it became the most profitable Canadian film at its time. However, it wasn't without controversy. In fact, the Canadian Parliament even debated its social and artistic value and pondered upon its effect upon society. Fact number three, Barbara Steele's bathtub scene featured a leg double in the scene where the slug is near her in the tub. Fact number four, towards the end of the movie, you see a bunch of people take their clothes off and jump into the pool. Well, apparently a lot of those people were actually crew members who took it upon themselves to strip and take a dip. And that footage remains in the film. Fact number five, the shoulder that Nurse Forsyth stabs in the film actually belongs to David Cronenberg. He put a pad under his shirt that she was supposed to stab with a fork, but she missed. And she got him right in the bicep, and he still has a scar to this day. My final thoughts are, I don't know, Shivers is about sex zombies, the end. Okay, there's more to it than that. Just like Romero did before him with Night of the Living Dead, Cronenberg uses his debut film to chart the social breakdown by tearing through our most intrinsic taboos. In this case, it's uh, the relationship between class and intense, perverse sexual desires like rape and assault and murder. Well, the film has monsters, it's got gore, it has 
as satire, it's a horror classic. Well, it looks like I'm almost out of bubbles, so I better wrap this up. Join me next time when I reveal five interesting facts about the 1976 horror classic, Carrie. Until then, my name is Scara, damsel of the doomed, and I'll see you in your screen.